The reason why this hot pot's so big is because the samurai, what they would do is they would eat this before going to battle. They would eat this, it gives them a lot of nutrients, all the essential vitamins they need, and then they would go into battle. Most likely they wouldn't eat for a day or two, you know, so they had to have a really filling meal. Good morning everyone, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here in beautiful Yamanashi Prefecture, Japan. Today I'm extremely excited because I'm going to start it off right here at a sake brewery. Then from here I'm going to observation deck to see Mount Fuji, which is right over there. And then after that we're going to eat some wheat noodle hot pot. I've never been to a sake brewery, I love sake, I've never had wheat noodle hot pot. It's really a special thing here in Yamanashi, and as you can tell, it's right now, it's freezing. It is like 32 Fahrenheit, literally zero Celsius, and we're going to the sake brewery. Let's go. Amazing. It's so cold. I know. <laughs> wow, so we're just like walking through the back of this village. It's really amazing out here. Wow, what are they doing? So many things going on. The brewery is back here somewhere. Oh, here it is. We also have the media here. Yeah. So, man. <laughs> you good? You good? All right, let's do this. This brewery dates back over 300 years, and before they produced sake, they used to produce miso. This guy, the owner, he's the 21st generation, so like it dates back, you know, great, 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 great grandfather. Really amazing. And he was telling us that sake dates back over 2,000 years, the history of sake. It started in Shinto shrines. The monks there like started producing sake and that's how it all started. So, you know, America has bourbon, France has wine. Here in Japan, it's sake, rice wine. And as you can see here, they have a lot of sake for sale. I think I'm taking this bottle because it looks so amazing. I think I needed to give this to my wife because she's the best and uh, she deserves the best. This is so good. Now we're gonna see the barrels in the brew house. Is that what it is? At first, we make sure we you put this clean up, and then he's gonna put some water. So those breweries, 98% make sake in winter season. If we make sake in summertime, there's many bacteria in the air or water. In Japan, there's only 1,200 breweries or sake breweries. In this prefecture, there's 15, and we're at one of the best. So this is the fermentation room. As you can see, there's a huge barrels, and each one is a different sake. Wow, this one is ginormous. Wow, look at all the rice. Beautiful, smell really sake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It smells like fermenting rice. Yes, like yes, it's yes. a mix between rice and alcohol. Yes, yes, yes. This brewery makes eight different types of sake and each one of these is a different stage in the process. This room is aging room. Sake is aging is in those tanks. These are the holding tanks and this is basically where they age the sake. And sake aging is very different than wine and whiskey. It's six months to two years and they have two different ways. You could either do it in these tanks or they could do it in bottles. I mean, these are massive tanks, massive. Wow, like inside the aging room. Look at this, whoa. Sake have two types of group. One is Junmai group, this one. Other one is Honjozo group. Sake have two types. We're starting with Daiginjo, which is the best, 40%. <laughs> this is amazing. So, I don't drink that much, and we're starting from the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come, come, come by, come by, come, come by, come by. <laughs> oh my god. The best sake ever. Oh, that's really good. It's so good. It's really good. Number two, come by. <laughs> come by. Come by. Mmm. And this is Jumai Ginjo. This is the second best. Okay. So once you're done trying the sake, it's time to buy it, right? So I'm gonna get their two best. This one and this one. And it's $33 for each bottle, so $66. I'm also gonna get this guy right here for my house. This is a sake like barrel, right? Arigato, arigato. Thank you very much. Arigato. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I bought two bottles of sake for my wife. 
I bought a sake cup, a sake pourer, and I bought a little mini barrel of sake. And what the cool thing is about the barrel is that it's something I can put in my house, and it has like the logo of this sake brewery, which dates over 300 years. I mean, what an experience. And it's really affordable. I mean, 33 US dollars for the best bottle they have is extraordinary because I go to any winery in the world and I feel like the best bottle is usually like two, three, four, five hundred dollars. Same thing with like whiskey, port, even worse. Oh, so I highly recommend when you come out to Japan, if you're into, you know, alcohol, into alcoholic beverages, you gotta try sake. You know, it's a tradition dating back over 2,000 years. And yeah, let's go to the observation deck. Okay, now we are heading for the Kawaguchiko Arb Garden. And in this, they have a nice observatory. So you see another beautiful view of the Mount Fuji. We're gonna see the observatory here. Get amazing views over Mount Fuji. But we literally have four minutes because we're really late. Okay, so for over our next there, we got Up there? Okay, right, let's do it. Just gotta run up here. Oh my god, I'm winded. Wow, this place is beautiful. Really beautiful. <laughs> well, there it is. But we're not there yet. <laughs> Up. It's called the Fuji Sun Desk. Ah, Fuji Sun Desk. Arigato, arigato. Wow. Five minutes, it takes five minutes to get it to the top. <sighs> okay. So this is the top of Wow. <laughs> wow. Look at Mount Fuji. Incredible. So we are in the Fuji Kawaguchiko. On the right side you see the beautiful Kawaguchiko Lake. It's a volcano lake. Around 9th century there is a big eruption and they stop the river and they have a nice lake and on this today look at the beautiful Mount Fuji from here. Yeah, I mean this is definitely the best views I've gotten on Mount Fuji. As you can see, you look over everything. I mean just clearly see it. Beautiful. So you can see the top of Mount Fuji is full of snow right now. We're here with nice little wet and like you see mountains and mountains and mountains. Over here we have the beautiful lake. We stayed right over there at the hotel, La Vista. And it's just gorgeous. We're like inside a valley. It's really amazing. And this deck is, is just perfect. I mean, it's not so high, but it looks over all the trees from here to Mount Fuji. So, so now we're going to lunch. Yes, so Yamanashi the Kawaguchiko is very famous for the hoto. Hoto is a wheat noodle. And uh, it is said around there is a famous the samurai Shingen. And uh, he used to eat this hoto before he went to battle. So let's go in the hoto restaurant. And you see the big uh, sign here. It's amazing. Yes, and you can take a look at the top is the Mount Fuji. And that is representing the Kawaguchiko, the lake. So let's go inside. The restaurant has two different types of dining halls. So here on the left, we have like the samurai style. You know, take off your shoes and go down and sit like and then over here we have like regular seating you know the chair and right here we have our food oh my god so it's a uh, hot pot Woo, look at that all right so here we have inari sushi which is basically like rice in the middle and then you have fried tofu with a sweet sauce i actually had it in tokyo it's freaking amazing look at this here we go mm. oh my god it almost tastes like honey. Honey with tofu and sticky rice. I'm gonna add some ginger to it. It's so good. It's so good. So I'm just gonna just stuff it. Right? Stuff the ginger in there. Pick it up like that. It's really filling. So amazing, huh? And this is a spoon for the hot pot. Whoa! Grab some of those wheat. Oh my god, the noodles are ridiculous. Look at that. Oh my god. They're huge. Nope. They don't want to get inside the plate. <laughs> In the little bowl. Here we go. Wow. That's incredible. It smells amazing. Look at the size of these noodles. They are like giant noodles. This is something you get in China. I've had a lot of this in China. So we also have some like super red chili flakes here. Oh my god. And it comes with a little scooper. Ooh. That's good, that's good. Wow, the noodles are so thick. It's amazing, wheat noodles. Mm, the spice. <coughs> I put a lot, I put a lot. 
People eat this whole bowl? Of course. They eat the whole bowl? The bowl is ginormous. And what else is in here? Because I see a piece of tofu, right? Fried tofu and the local some Chinese cabbage, some mushrooms. Wow. It's incredible. But it's, it's a little overwhelming, the size. <laughs> the size is just like... And then right here we have a nice piece of fried tofu. That tofu looks delicious. So this lunch costs 1,500 yen for the combination with the inari and the wheat noodle hot pot. You can just get the wheat noodle hot pot for 1,200. So $15 or $12, I suggest a combination. And let this like, like open this up and let it just chill because it's really boiling. Mm. <laughs> it's really hot. So it's wheat noodles with mushrooms, tofu, vegetables in a miso soup, right? Everything's miso because they produce miso. Oh, but it's still too hot, right? Nice like that. It's a really hearty meal, like especially for for this, for winter, you know? The reason why this hot pot's so big is because the samurai, what they would do is they would eat this before going to battle. They would eat this, it gives them a lot of nutrients, all the essential vitamins they need, and then they would go into battle. Most likely they wouldn't eat for a day or two, you know, so they had to have a really filling meal. Go at it, right? The miso soup, so good. I mean, this is my favorite, like, noodles with miso. Mm -hmm. The best. I'm gonna have one last noodle. One last noodle. Done. Done. <laughs> Where are we going? We go to the station to catch a train. We're going to the station to catch a train. Oh, I need my sweater. <laughs> my jacket. I'm freezing out here. All right, guys. So it has been an amazing day. We tried some delicious sake at a sake brewery. That was just phenomenal. The taste there was just so different. You know, coming straight from the brewery, a different world. Then we saw an amazing view of Mount Fuji from that observation deck. And then we had delicious wheat noodle hot pot Samurai portion, I mean ginormous What an amazing time out here in the Yamanashi prefecture And I hope you guys love this video because right now we're about to go to another state in Japan Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more food and travel content I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Japan. Peace